Good morning. It is 10:30 something on Saturday, November 28th, 2015. I'm Christiana Ellis and this is 5 more minutes. I just got up sort of boy, these vacation videos. I'm just letting discipline slide, aren't I? You might hear a little bit of whining. And that is this doggy over here. This is Patty. And uh she thinks that she should be able to go back inside. The problem is that what she wants is to just go back and forth and back and forth. <laughs> um, we've also my animal companions this morning. I've got Oz the kitty. And uh, Lily over there looks like she's coming back in through the uh, store. I can see it. It's hard to aim the iPad. This is Lily. Hey Lily, are you a good girl? She also thinks that she should be able to go back and forth and back and forth. So even for just five minutes for me to close the door so that the sound doesn't bleed through. It's, it's a complication in their lives. Uh, so yesterday, um, oh, I should uh, just while I'm at it, go ahead and show you. It's uh, nice and sunny and clear today, despite the fact that we've got all the snow from yesterday. So, uh, but yesterday uh, we went and saw The Good Dinosaur, which is the latest Pixar movie. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> that is a dog wanting to go back inside, so let's make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> this is my mom. Hi. <laughs> Lots of activity this morning, as you can see. So, we went to see The Good Dinosaur, Pixar's latest movie. Um, it was also, uh, I, I, it's one that I had read about in terms of the production. Um, I think this one, maybe more than most of their movies, there was a lot of changing that went on during the production process. One of the things with these computer animated movies is that they're so expensive to render that... Um, you generally want to get the story really nailed out long before you do much uh, else. And then you don't change it very much because it's so expensive to make any little change. But uh, this one I had heard changed a lot. And the story used to be a lot more complicated. And uh, yeah, so the end result, the story is not complicated. And, that, and I don't say that as a criticism more just an observation that the story is very basic it's very uh, simple straightforward it's essentially just a classic tale with a twist so what we've got is a, a, a young boy who's kind of a scared of everything he needs to uh, come of age and learn to face his fears and uh, sort of a boy and his dog coming of age story except the twist is that the boy is an apatosaurus and the dog is a feral human and so you know that's that's the gag is that uh the meteorite that or the the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs didn't so dinosaurs are smarter but uh you know not quite like anthropomorphized or like living in cities or anything but able to talk and basic agriculture and that sort of thing uh, but one of the interesting things about the movie visually is that the backgrounds, the scenery, is pretty... I, I'll go ahead and just say photorealistic, because in most of those shots, if I didn't know better, I would have, you know, if you had just showed it to me and said, is this computer generated or real, I wouldn't be able to tell. So they're pretty much photorealistic. But then the actual dinosaur characters are much more simply rendered Still looking great as far as Pixar movies, but just in terms of the style, it's a much uh, more cartoony look to them, which is kind of a neat contrast that I thought really worked well. So it was a beautiful, beautiful movie um, visually. And the story, like I said, is just very, very simple. And so, you know, like, I, you know, compared to, say, Inside Out, which has got high concept all over the place. This one is very basic, which is okay. But, you know, it's also, I think, it's not one that's lingering for me as much as that one did because it's just, you know, there's less meat on the bone, so to speak. 
but it sure looks nice. Goes down easy. The kids in the audience sure loved it. And I'm and I, I liked it too. In fact, just all the boy and his dog sort of stuff that they do with little Spot, the mean feral human, acting like a dog. I'm a sucker for that stuff, so I liked it. So recommendation is, you know, thumbs up, but uh, at the same time, just, you know, it's not the next Citizen Kane. <laughs> All right, so I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes, and by then, I should be back home in Boston.